Got the new DJI transmission system, but sad that it says you can't use it with your RS3. Well, actually, you might be able to fairly easily. I'll show you how. First, you need to be aware that DJI says these systems aren't compatible because of the smaller nature of the RS3. Um, you might not be able to add you know, the same accessories and cameras and get the same performance out of it as you would with the RS3 Pro. With that out of the way, let's start. First, we're going to take the DJI transmission module and make sure we attach both the battery case and the RS3 Pro mounting bracket. So I'm just gonna set those down here and make sure you put the bracket on this side. It is possible to put the bracket on the battery side, but you just wanna make sure that you've already got your um, battery bracket attached when you do that. All right, now we're ready to attach it. When you attach the transmission system, make sure that you do it with your ports facing out. And it'll be a little stiff, but you should be able to just slide it right on. Once attached, make sure to switch the lever on the mounting bracket to lock it into place. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the battery. With a battery attached, you won't have much wiggle room. If you need, you can rig an external battery to the grip handle of the RS3 and run DTAP using the included power cable with the transmission system. Just be aware of the cable so that you don't accidentally spin the pan motor enough to put strain on the cable or motors. From there, we're gonna mount the camera to the gimbal as normal. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is unlocked. And I'm gonna slide my camera, which is a Sony a7S in this case. Slide that on there. And now we'll make sure that we lock the plate. Once on, connect a video cable, in my case, this HDMI, from the camera to the transmission system. So those are HDMI out from the camera. And this is why it's important to make sure that the port's on the front, otherwise you're not gonna have easy access and you might not even have clearance to plug the HDMI into transmission. And there we go. You're also at this point going to want to attach any extra cables, um, such as this cable for camera control from the Ronin, uh, and any lenses and other accessories you would want to balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the lens cap since you would do that to balance anyway. And I'm gonna connect this camera control cable. So in, and then our camera control port. So when balancing, you may need to play back and forth with the arm locks in order to get clearance for the camera to move so that you can balance it. Um, for example, right now, this camera, if I undo this arm lock, it won't tilt back at extreme angles. And that's just where it needs to be so that it's stable. So you wanna find a good balance literally between the camera being stable and having the clearance that you need for the camera to move around. So that's just something to be aware of, but I haven't found that balance has been all that bad. Um, so far the gimbal has been reporting that balance is right in the sweet spot whenever I've been out shooting with this, uh, with the transmission system added. Once that's all set, you're ready to go. Just power on the camera, and then power on the transmission system. And once the transmission system is powered on, you should be seeing a video signal on your DJI high bright monitor. If not, check that your camera is outputting a compatible video signal. For HDMI, that's 1080p up to 60 frames per second and 1080i up to 60 frames per second as well. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video has been helpful to you and allowed you to get some extra use out of your transmission system and RS3. Happy filming.